Um, Damien, listen, it's not a night for moral victories. That is one that you will leave here, will hurt that you've not taken something from this game. Um, absolutely, yeah. Listen, set pieces will come back to bite us again. It's been a consistent throughout the season. Uh, did we deserve to get something out of the game? Absolutely. Um, when it's so close to the end of the game, you're up. Um, yeah, it's definitely two points lost, which, again, a moral victory. Uh, it's another hard luck story. That's what I'm telling the guys in there. I'm sick of them and they have to stop. But listen again, I couldn't be prouder of them. How do you bridge that gap between what could have been and what should have been? Uh, listen, I'll never change. We'll keep training, we'll keep coaching, we'll keep believing, we'll keep giving them detail week in, week out. So if there's ever hard luck stories, which there has been this year, that's all we've ever done. Uh, the lads will dust themselves down. They've been excellent at that all year. When there's a disappointment, we're back in tomorrow morning. And we'll start addressing the biggest game that Shelburne Football Club have had in over a decade. Overall, how can you reflect on the performance? Again, you haven't got a result, but you will take an awful lot from that game tonight in terms of the springboard now into to what is potentially a season-defining game next season. Absolutely. Next Listen, the performance usually gets results, but like I said to you before the game, I know you picked up, oh, you haven't won a few in the league. Um, when we're performing like that, the results will come. But equally, it, it, I can see the frustration in you that again... Oh, no, it's, listen, it's, the frustration it's, isn't, it's with, air, the frustration isn't with the guys. The frustration isn't with the guys. Obviously, the result, you know, four minutes added on. I think it ended up 96 and a half minutes. The game is still going on. Absolutely incredible. I don't think it's a corner. I think it's a free kick to back, back post. But listen, if I was to air my views about officials and blah, blah, and stuff that goes on in this league, I won't be on the touchline next week. So... I am very proud to manage Shelburne Football Club and I want to be on the touchline next week. I cannot wait. I'm looking forward to it already. That's, that's why. That says a lot. Can I just ask you about, you know, you had a reputation for being calm, collected, laid back as a player. You were as entertaining to watch in patches tonight as the game itself. That's testament to not necessarily what this means to you, but the potential, obviously, that you see still within this group. Yeah, well, listen, it's, uh, I'd like to say it's not losing my head during the game, which maybe you could have pointed out earlier on. It's, 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 no, it's, just coach, it's coaching within the game. Uh, it's, what, it's true to who I am. And, uh, yeah, listen, I might be a blow in here. I'm only here, what, nine, ten months, and people have supported the league probably for 30, 40, 50 years. This is my league now as much as them, and uh, I've loved every minute of it. Like I said, I'm proud to manage Shelburne. Big disappointment here today. But hopefully it's a different story next Sunday. To finish, will it take a lot to lift that group or can they take the positives from the performance? <laughs> Listen, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but like I said, when they've been disappointed next year, they'll come in bouncing tomorrow, laugh and joke and music on. Uh, so they'll just have to do that again. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Cheers.